if anybody were to ask you what is the sign of a living father in you or what is the sign that you're the chosen one say it's the movement i've got the movement of a living father in me you know chosen people have presence y'all they have an ability to have the presence felt when they're in the presence of other people. You know what I mean? God, you don't get to go and do the things you do because of your knowledge, but you're going to go and get to do the things that you're going to do and succeed because of your presence. You know what I mean? Kanye West said, God said to him, Kanye, nobody cares about you, so let me make them care about you. So he put to, he put Kanye West to a car accident. And Kanye West said that's the best thing that could happen to him because that made him a rapper. He said that is a good thing when you're about to, you almost died to be a rapper. <laughs> you know what I mean? So guys, the trauma that you felt in your life, the, strug the struggle that you've been through, and all the hardship that you've been through, will add to your presence. After you won these struggles, guys, this will add to your aura. Understand one thing. Life is not about communication with words, but it's all about communicating with your energy. The chosen ones have the ability to communicate their energy more than other people because they've been through so much and won. You know what I mean? Uh, hello, beautiful people of the world. This is Alula, and welcome to Awaken the Ego Within. Like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Another vid for my chosen ones. How are you doing, my chosen ones? And today I want to talk about why is it that the chosen ones have a strong presence? Why is it that the chosen ones are able to communicate without saying a word, just by the energy? You know what I'm saying? Guys, let me tell you, the most purest language there is in the world is energy communication. Let me tell you, man. Don't pay so much attention to your words and other people's words, but pay attention to energy. You know why? Because energy doesn't lie. You can't manipulate energy into, I mean, say for example, if, you, if you're feeling one thing, it's impossible for you to display another thing. Even though you try, people try to mislead you with their, with their words, this and that, but ultimately, that energy will communicate the feeling towards you, uh, the feelings of them towards you guys. You understand what I'm saying? As a chosen one, this is your age. This is one of the things that make you the chosen one, guys. Because your ability to feel is more than other people. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the first reason why this happens is because of what you've been through. It's because of the trauma that you've been through, guys. Is because of the struggle that you passed in your life. Some of you must still be in this struggle. And if you are, let me tell you, there is a bright light at the end of the tunnel. So keep on going. You understand what I'm saying? For those of you that have been through all this struggle and now finally you're becoming yourself, you're becoming a you're living life through the awareness. Your presence is unmistakable, guys. The things that you've been through and the struggles that you've had in your life will add to your presence. It's the very thing that was set against you in order for you to, to, to die. It's the very thing that will elevate you, guys. That's why when you see somebody that is chosen, you just know it. 
you understand what I'm saying? If you go to a zoo, guys, you can always tell which lion was captured in the in the wild and which one was a domestic lion, just by the look in their eyes. And the chosen ones know how to communicate this more than anyone, guys. And this is the very thing that will make people gravitate towards you. Let me tell you, this is where your success lies. This is the gift that you've been given from above in order for you to get to do what you're going to do, guys. It's your presence, guys. Once you have this presence, this presence will communicate everything that you are without you saying a word. Especially in the nowadays, guys, we live in the age of information. Meaning that information is everywhere. You understand what I'm saying? As a chosen one, your edge that will make you successful is your presence. When you're in the presence of other people, people will see your energy and know that you're the chosen one. The chosen ones are always vibrating high, man. There are people that are vibrating the highest because of the energy. Because of what they feel, the ability to feel is just at a highest capacity, especially after you go through the dark night of the soul and after you awaken from this illusion. You understand what I'm saying? You are like a fertile ground that anything that lands on that soil is in the good soil. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Meaning that the kind of information that you're exposed to is the kind of information that you vibrate out to the world, like more than others, because of your ability to feel. Chosen people are like emotional people, man. They're empath. They are one with the universe, really. The ability to feel is uh, at a high always. That's why, let me tell you something, guys. When it comes to this Kundalini energy, and awakening the energy that is inside of you. The sign of that Kundalini is a sign of snakes. You know what that is? You know what that is, guys? That is because once you are able to awaken the energy that is inside of you, your ability to feel, you'll be just like a snake. You see, snakes, they really, they're amazing creatures, really, really. One of the things that really, the changes that I've found in myself since my dark night saw an awakening, before I had, before I went through that experience of the dark night, I was so afraid of snakes. Even watching them on on the television, man, that I, I couldn't, you know. But after I went through that experience of awakening the dark night of the soul, basically awakening the energy that is at the bottom of my spine, guys, I wasn't scared of snakes anymore. You understand what I'm saying, guys? Let me tell you, in my opinion. If you find yourself of being afraid of snakes, that means there is something inside of you that are you afraid to look. You know what I mean? The more you face that thing, the devil that is inside of you, the more you will not be afraid of snakes. Because your snakes have human characters also. Don't forget that. Anyway, so one of the characters of a snake is that snakes have the ability to feel. They can feel you. They can feel your presence. You know, this is how they move. As a chosen one, you're also going to develop, develop this character. This is, and this will add to your aura. And it depends on what kind of things that you consume. But as a chosen one, you're always consuming things that will make you the greatest version of yourself. You understand what I'm saying? Since you're always pushing boundaries and reaching new heights man you're gonna be always attracted to some good content good information the things that you feed yourself is good for your soul so this is the thing that will add to your vibration this is the thing that will add to your energy and this is why people feel your presence more than others the chosen ones are spiritual when i say spiritual guys we all are spiritual beings that is living in this material body but through our, the programming of this world, we've been made to believe that we are just flesh and blood. You understand what I'm saying? They keep dumbing us down with their food, with their information, with religion. 
just you understand what I'm saying? So that you will not wake up to the fact that you are a spirit that is roaming this world at this time and a material body, you know what I mean? But as a chosen one, you know this. As a chosen one, this the rules of this society don't apply to you guys because you know your true identity. You know that you are a spiritual being that is having a human experience. You understand what I'm saying? So when you are a spiritual being and you know this and you believe this and you know how to cause an effect using your own spiritual uh, thing, man, this will make your presence even more felt than others. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? The kind of information that you know, guys, and the kind of things that you believe about yourself, the way you look at yourself, and the truth about you, and now you know this and you believe this, and this just adds to your energy even more. You understand the game of life, guys. You understand the rules of life. The rule of life is that we are spirits. You need to be spiritual in order for you to cause an effect. You can't use matter to matter in order for things to change. You have to rise above the situation, meaning that you have to rise in other dimensions in order for you to deal with this third dimensional problem. Understand one thing, guys. When you rise above a certain dimension of this uh, uh, 3D and you ascend to other dimensions, man, this the problem of this world would be nothing to you, man. You be just able to deal with this world's problem spiritually. You understand what I'm saying? This is the greatest secret of humanity that is that we are dimensional beings. I should say multi-dimensional beings that we also exist in other dimensions. This is what the rulers keep away from the people. Once you know this, guys, you believe this and you start moving according to this. This will add to your presence and that's it guys now you're living in heaven while you're living on this earth but as a chosen one this is natural to you as a chosen one this is your way of life guys this is why your presence is more stronger and stronger than other people and this is why you be successful this is why you'll be known guys this is why this is the reason you are sent here to wake these people up, to wake people up at this time. Man, I'm feeling like this, we are really moving into a really new dimension of thinking, new way of living. And as a chosen one, at this time, we've been sent here for us to wake the masses up. And that's why we have this presence in our energy, so that we can communicate this thing with other people and wake you know, wake humanity up and then we can really ascend together, all of us. You know what I'm saying, guys? So there we have it. The chosen ones have a strong presence. And here is why. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Day two of lockdown is still going on. Hey, I feel all right about it, though. Anyway, uh, like this video and subscribe. Until the next video, God bless you and... Take care. Bye-bye. Yeah, guys. Oh, shit. Look at that guy running. He's probably afraid of corona. Man, every time we have a lockdown in Melbourne, you see people coming out, jogging and running. You know what I mean? And then when it's open, you don't see people again. <laughs> Instead of like making it their lifestyle, the only exercise when is lockdown. Anyhow. Okay, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.